Good morning, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Voice. I'm going to give you a verse of scripture. It's actually out of Titus. Titus 3, 5. Now, this says here, starting with the fifth verse, I'm going to actually start with the uh, fourth verse. It says, but after that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior toward man, appeared not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to continue with this. It says, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior. That being justified... By his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. That's Titus 3. Titus 3, 4 through 7. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future. Was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, period. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. You are protected by the blood of Jesus. You are rapture ready, which folks, it is definitely going to happen at any time. And you're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. A lot of people want to relate once saved, always saved as a license to sin, which is the dumbest, stupidest thing I've ever heard. When you are in Christ Jesus, the last thing you want to do is break his heart. Unfortunately, we live in a fleshly body, which means, guess what? We don't have, we don't have a sin-free life. No one does. And if they do, they're lying. That's a sin right there. <laughs> they're lying, okay? Now, uh, I put up a thing yesterday on my community tab from Dr. Chuck Meisler. I think that's his name. Outstanding definition of once saved, always saved. Check it out. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, minister to you. If you let him, he will lead you. He will change you. That's what he does. If you let him. A lot of people want to sit there and say, well, God don't talk to me. Yeah, he does. Are you listening? He does talk. He talks to his children. It's called a relationship. It's not religion. It's a relationship. You need to talk to him. He'll talk back. <sighs> Things are happening again. So Russia... I said this last night. Russia announces air patrols over Golan borders. Now, what does this mean? That means that they're ticked. They are ticked off because of what happened with uh, the some of the Iran Revolutionary Guard Corps and what and this strike on Syria. This is what they're upset about. So the Russian Ministry of Defense announced the start of military air patrols. Along the disengagement line between Syria and the Golan. Golan Heights, which is occupied by Israel in southern Syria. The deputy head of the Russian Center for Reconciliation, affiliated with the Ministry of Defense, Admiral Avadam Kalat, I think that's his name, stated that the Russian air forces began air patrols along the Bravo line that divides. So actually, this divides the Golan Heights 
between Syria and Israel. That little divide right there. So according to what was reported by the Russian news agency TASS, T-A-S-S, yesterday evening, Thursday, January 18th, the objective of the patrols is to monitor the situation along the disengagement line between the two sides. So the Admiral said that the aviation units of the Russian Aerospace Forces organize air patrols along the disengagement line known as the Bravo Line. He said that the aviation units of the Russian Aerospace Forces organized air patrols along that line. The patrols came days after Russian Defense Ministry announced the deployment of two new points in the occupied Syrian Golan to monitor the ceasefire between Israel and Syria. Now, I bring this out because this actually came out Friday. This thing with Syria, with Israel and what they did to Syria happened yesterday. Russia's already there. Monitoring the, monitoring the situation. What does that tell you? I just saw this today. Someone just sent me this today. The Russian patrols had completely disappeared from the region for more than a year after Russia evacuated the Red Hills military position north of the govern, uh, govern rate in mid-2021 and has not returned to the area since then. Israel occupied the Golan Heights in 1967 and the Syrian forces were not allowed to enter into the buffer zone as per the 1973 ceasefire agreement. Over the past year, the Syrian regime accused Israel of supporting opposition uh, factions on the border of the occupied Golan Heights, especially in the Quanint I think it's Quanitria countryside. It's in, it's in those areas over there. So in 2018, this is interesting because in 2018, the regime regained control of southern Syria with the support of Russia. And it was known at the time as the Settlement Agreement, which led to the withdrawal of heavy weapons from opposition factions and relocated those who rejected the settlement towards the last opposition stronghold in Northwest Syria. That's a kitten if you hear it in the background. Now it's strange that they're there and this thing and uh, Israel did this to Syria yesterday. They, have, they arrived there at this zone Friday. Why am I saying that? because they're about to get involved with this thing. Russia is now showing itself for Syria. Don't forget, I told you yesterday, and I've been saying this, Syria and Russia are in cahoots together. They're friends. Bashar and Putin are close allies. So that makes Iran also an ally to Russia, China, and all the rest of them. This thing is setting up for the Great Tribulation. I'm sorry, but it is. The only way, and <laughs> when I saw that, I said, okay, yeah, they're there. This is almost... I guarantee I can almost guarantee you something is going to happen this week. It's happened every week, but I can almost guarantee you that something is going to go down this week. Now, this came out also. Now, this is saying Let 
the same thing. And I got this. And I think Chris mentioned something about this yesterday. Let me get on here. Yeah, so it's talking about the same thing. So the Russian Ministry of Defense has announced that they will commence military air patrols on the disengagement line between Israel and Syria. Now this, uh, again, this is the line at which Israel sends its fighter jets to fire missiles into Syria. It appears that Russia intends to put a stop to Israeli attacks against Syria. This just got very, very interesting. It says here, the big question, what if Russia sees Israeli jets in Israeli airspace and fires a missile into Syria? Will the Russians shoot down the missile or the jet or both? What if the Russian pilot believes the missile was fired at him? So last night I said this thing had ramped up from 10 to 20. Now it's from 20 to 30. Because now Russia is involved. Yeah. So I'm going to link this article in the description box. So apparently it sounds like because they got there Friday and I know the time is off and everything. This is this is bad. This is really bad because if Russia's involved in this thing, they're going to try to put a stop to Israel firing over into Syria. And if Russia's there, that means that Iran is going to make some kind of something do something <laughs> to stop this I'm going to link the article in the description box another thing I have posted an uh, article on my telegram and I think you're, <laughs> you're going to want to look at that article <laughs> because it's so it's so ridiculous but it's what's coming and I haven't posted, <clears throat> I had mentioned the other day that I had started back posting on te uh, Telegram. I haven't posted in a while because I'm busy on here <clears throat> and with other things here. So go look at that article. Well, if you can, if you get a chance, it's interesting. I'm going to link this in the description box and I will be back later today. Thank you.